Hey everyone, here's a quick update on what's happening in the Southern California housing market. I took a look at the combined data for Los Angeles, San Bernardino, Riverside, and Orange counties as my representative sample. And February's numbers show signs of the market heating back up again. Looking at prices, the median price rose slightly in February for all but Los Angeles County. And Los Angeles County was down just a little bit, about 0.6%. Now, many people have been concerned about the decline in prices since the Federal Reserve implemented measures last year to raise interest rates. Since then, the median price has dropped between 14% in Los Angeles County and 7.5% in San Bernardino County. While that's a pretty dramatic shift, it's not too crazy when we look at where we've landed compared to last year. You know, compared to last February, the four counties are down between half a percent and five and a half percent. So that's certainly substantial, but uh, it's not like the bottom is dropping out. In terms of inventory, the number of homes for sale dropped a little bit in all four counties during February. And that's unusual for this time of year, as many prospective sellers choose to wait until after the holidays to put their homes on the market. So we typically see more homes come on the market after New Year's Day. And since this is the second month in a row of declining inventory, that also seems to suggest that the SoCal market is heating back up. When we look at the number of days on market, uh, homes are sitting on the market just a hair longer this month than they were last month. Uh, the median one is right in the middle, so uh, the days on market tells us that half the homes sold faster and half of them took longer to sell. So in January, it was between 26 and 40 days, and that is much slower than last year's range of 7 to 14 days. Homes are more likely to be sitting longer right now because so many sellers have accidentally overpriced them, and it takes a couple of weeks for them to adjust and find the right asking price. Now let's look at supply and demand. Buyers still substantially outnumber sellers in most Southern California markets. And months of inventory is the metric that we use to measure that. And anything below five months of inventory is a seller favored market, and anything above six months of inventory is a buyer favored market. So, right now, months of inventory ranges between 1.6 and 2.3 across the four counties, and that is still firmly in seller's market territory. We've seen two months in a row now of declining supply relative to demand, which I think is the best evidence that the market is heating back up. If this trend continues, we can expect stabilized prices or probably slightly rising prices, even in the face of moderately increased interest rates. So this definitely doesn't suggest a crash in prices in the near future. So what does this mean for sellers? Uh, sellers should be extra careful to avoid accidental overpricing. While multiple offer situations are still happening, they are less frequent and less dramatic right now. And for the last few years, the intensity of the market provided more grace for overpriced sellers that weren't too far off, but that's not the case today. And what this means for buyers is that they've been waiting for the market to shift. Um, they can expect a little less competition and a little more opportunity to use down payment assistance programs. Uh, in the last few years, first-time buyers have struggled the most with competition with other buyers that have had more cash available. So this is a great time for first-time buyers to connect with lenders and learn about their options. Um, the California Housing Finance Agency is rolling out a 20% assistance program for first-time buyers here in the coming week. And uh, that could be a, a great thing to tap into in this season as well. So if you have any questions about this or about anything else real estate related, feel free to give me a call or shoot me a text. My cell phone number is 909-576-0695 and I look forward to connecting soon.